Hello, this is Helen Schaefer, bringing out the artist in you. Here we are. Hello, everyone. Yes. Hi, everybody. Today, Helen is back to one of her favorite subjects, the duck. That's my nickname sometimes, by the way. She will concentrate on the eye and eye socket and give you tips on how to create those properly, as well as the bill and finally the body. This little mallard duckling is colored exclusively in Crayola colored pencils. The Crayola colors are perfect for the duckling. Begin by sketching with the 2H Eagle turquoise drawing pencil or a similar one. After making sure that you have an accurate drawing, begin coloring. First lay down light shades of yellows, staying away from the pencil lines. Try to follow the drawing, and as the head takes shape, erase the sketch lines. If not erased, lines might show up later under your color. Remember to leave plenty of space around the area of the eye so that the eyelids can be properly drawn in. It's important to save the whites. Doing this will put the necessary depth into the eye socket when you color this important eye area. The eyes of all living creatures are important, so the eye socket and eyeball must be drawn carefully and accurately. Did you notice that after Helen put numerous layers of color on the head, she stopped to erase a certain portion so that she could put a black line in its place. And she told me later that the purpose for that was so that she could show the roots. Next, you draw the eyelid with a thin black line. This will put the necessary depth into the eye socket. The black spikes Helen is drawing help define the shape of the head. Also looks like a 50s hairdo. Now concentrate on the top of the head, the hair. This little duckling is very particular about his hair. He wants the latest and most up-to-date hairstyle. So, to accomplish this, a blue color is laid down first. The blue will help achieve a glow to the head. Layers of black are then added to the duckling's crowning glory. Once completed, an eraser is used to achieve a smooth, downy look. Okay, now let's draw the eyeball. Carefully select your blues and blacks. When drawing, be sure to leave a small space between the eyelid line and the eyeball. This finishes the definition of the eyelid. You need also to save some white space in the eyeball for a highlight and gleam. Did you notice that layer after layer of color is added to the eye in order to get a three-dimensional look? I love how that eye takes on a real gleam. Coloring the body of the duckling is accomplished by repeating the colors used in the head. These colors are not as vibrant as the head, so tone it down a little. The layering process takes about four hours to complete. While laying down the colors, the artist enters the zone, flying from one color to another without giving it any thought knowing that it takes time to achieve a desired result. Short, heavy marks using a dark brown pencil indicate tiny feathers on the body and on the head. Be sure to use a sharp pencil for these tiny dark marks. The mallard's bill is important because it is the duckling's trademark and must be layered properly or the little fellow might be sad. After the bill is layered with various grays, blues, and blacks, the white pencil is used to burnish the bill. To burnish, you press firmly over the colors you are blending. The little duckling is now complete, 
and is feeling happy as he looks for his brothers and sisters in the pond. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye. Bye.